Hello students, this is the 81st lecture for business statistics third paper, TYB Com students, unit 5, lecture 1, name of the topic is CPM and PERT. CPM stands for critical path method and PERT stands for program evaluation and review technique. See, this is the second term syllabus for TYB Com students, Unit 5, Lecture 1, CPM and PERT. There are 16 lectures allocated to this topic. Meaning and scope, activity, event, node, network, path, critical path, slack, float. There are three types of floats, total float, free float, independent float, forward pass and backward pass methods, pessimistic most likely and optimistic times in PERT, mean and variance for each activity, expected duration of project, probability of completion of project, examples and problems. See the introduction of the topic. CPM PERT. PERT stands for Program Evaluation and Review Technique and CPM stands for Critical Path Method are two of the most widely used techniques in project management. The main objectives of project management can be described in terms of a successful project which has been finished on time within the budgeted cost and to take technical specifications which satisfy the end users. A project is any human undertaking with a clear beginning and controlling the work during any worthwhile project is the main task for project manager. Project planning calls for detailing the project into activities, estimating the resources and time for each activity and describing activity relation interrelationships. Scheduling requires the details of starting and completion dates for each activity. Control requires not only current status information but insight into possible trade-offs when difficulties arise. A project is a well-defined set of jobs or tasks, all of which must be completed to finish the project. To finish the project, for example, construction of bridge, highway, power plant, etc. Each such projects involve large number of interrelated activities or tasks, which must be completed in a specified time in a specified sequence or order and require resources such as personal, money, materials, facilities and space. The main objective before starting any project is to schedule the required activities in an effective manner so as to complete it on or before a specific time limit at a minimum cost of its completion. Hence, before starting any project, it is necessary to prepare a plan for scheduling and controlling the various activities involved with the given project. The techniques of operation research used for planning, scheduling and controlling large and complex projects are often referred as network analysis. All these techniques are based on the representation of the project as a network of activities. So, a network is a graphical plan consisting of a certain configuration of arrows and nodes for showing the logical sequence of various activities to be performed to achieve project objectives. Support Program Evaluation and Review Technique and CPM Critical Path Method 
are the two techniques which are used used for project management but it assumes a probability distribution for the duration of each activity duration of each activity thus completion time estimates are needed to perform pot analysis on the project the emphasis is given on the completion of a task rather than the activities required to reach to a particular event or task thus it is also called as an event oriented technique second point it is used for one time object projects involving activities of a non repetitive nature that is activities which may not ne- may never have been performed before in which time estimates are uncertain third point it helps in identifying critical areas in a project so that necessary adjustments can be made to meet the scheduled completion date of the project cpm this technique was developed in connection with the construction and maintenance of project in which duration of each activity was known with certainty second point it is suitable for establishing a trade off for optimum balance between schedule and a cost of the project third point it is used for completion of projects involving activities of repetitive nature the significance of using pot and cp first point a network diagram helps translation of highly complex project into a set of simple and logical or arranged activities and therefore help in the clarity of thoughts and actions b part help in clear and unambiguous communication developing from top to bottom and vice versa among the people responsible for executing the project next point detailed analysis of network help project in charge to peep into the future peep into the future because difficulties and problems that can be reasonably expected to crop up during the course of execution being foreseen well ahead of actual execution b support delays and hold ups during course of execution get minimized corrective action can also be taken well in time third point isolates activities which control the project completion and therefore result in expeditious expeditious completion of the project next point helps in the division of responsibilities and therefore enhance effective coordination among different departments agencies involved next point helps in timely allocation of resources to various activities to achieve optimal utilization of resources fundamental concepts of network anal model this is the graphical network 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so these are the activities this is the starting point and this is the end point definitions first definition activity all projects may be viewed as being composed of operations or tasks called activities which require the expenditure of time and resources for their accomplishment thus when a project is divided into smaller and smaller units each basic identifiable unit is called as activity an activity is depicted by a ar- single arrow on the project network the activity arrows is not scaled and length of the activity time is only a matter of convenience the head of the arrows 
shows the sequence or flow of the activities predecessor activity activities must be completed immediately prior to the start of another activity called as predecessor activity successor activity activities that cannot be started until one or more of the other activities are completed but immediately succeed them are called as successor activity concurrent activity activities which can be accomplished concurrently are called as are known as concurrent activities it may be noted that an activity can be predecessor or successor to one to an event or it may be concurrent with one or more of the other activities next definition event an event represents a specific accomplishment in the project and takes part at a particular instant of time and does not therefore consume time or resources an event is a net an event in a network is a time oriented reference point that signifies the end of one activity and beginning of another events are usually represented on the network by circles the event circles are called nodes thus starting and ending points in time of an activity are called as events or nodes events are just points in time and does not consume any resources they are denoted by 1 2 3 dash 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 so this is the way we can denote this is the start event this is the finish event and in between these two events we have activity merge event when more than one activity comes and joins the event is known as merge event so these are the two activities which, which are coming together so this is the merge event burst event when more than one activity leaves an event the event is called as burst event so this is the event and these two activities are coming out of the event so this is called as burst event next concept merge and burst events an activity may be merge and burst event simultaneously as with respect to some activity it can be merge event and with respect to some other activities it may be burst event so in this case these three arrows are coming together and these two arrows are leaving from the event so this is the merge and this is the burst network the graphical representation of a project which is a logical and sequential arrangement of activities or events is called as network so this is the way we can draw the network 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 these are the node numbers and the arrows can be showed actually arrow should have been showed in this particular network rules of drawing network first rule each network should have only one starting and ending point second rule each activity is represented by one and only one arrow in the network therefore no single activity can be represented twice in the network third rule no two activities can be identified by the same beginning and end events in such cases a dummy activity is introduced to resolve the problem fourth rule before an activity can be undertaken all activities preceding it must be completed thus a network should be developed on the basis of logical and technical de dependencies between various activities of the project the discipline of networking required that the project be considered in a thorough and analytic manner and the predecessor and successor relationships between the various activities clearly laid next point the arrows depicting various activities are at indicative of the logical precedence only or logical precedence only the length of the arrows are of no significance next one the flow of the diagram should be from left to right Sec next one arrows should not be crossed 
unless it is completely unavoidable. Next rule, each activity must have a head and tail event. No two or more activities may have same head and tail events. Dangling must be avoided. This happens when precedence and interrelationship of an activity are not properly identified. Next concept, dummy activity. An activity which does not consume any resource and is only useful to denote the dependence of an activity over the other is called as dummy activity. It, it is denoted by dotted arrow. So this is the network diagram. See 1 to 2, 2 to 5, 1 to 3, 3 to, 3 to 4 and 3 to 5. So 3 to 4 if you equip it like this only this becomes dangling activity. So <coughs> 4 to 5 we have to draw a dummy arrow. Dummy activity. So that this will not be a dangling activity. Remarks. An event is that particular instant of time at which <coughs> some specific part of plan has been or is to be achieved, is to be achieved. An activity is actual performance of a task. It is the work required to complete specific event. An activity is recognizable part of work project that requires time and resources for its completion. For example, for its completion. Examples of activities are mixing of concrete, assembly of parts, preparing budget, etc. Events are described by such a word as complete, start, issue, approved, tested, etc. And words like design, procedure, test, develop, prepare, etc. for activities. For understanding networks, there are two actions. An event is not complete until all activities following into it are complete. Second action, no subsequent activity can begin until its tail event is reached or complete. 